Sure. Um, when you're when you're um, an agent for you said forty over other clients, and I assume you find most, if not all, of them admirable uh, in some capacity. Yeah. Um, is that inspiring that, hey, they're all doing such great work, therefore I'll do great work? Or is that a little bit intimidating that they're doing great work? How can I, how can I keep up with them? Um, you know, early on, it was especially intimidating, especially back when I knew I would reject me. Um, it was, I, I really, there were many days where I felt, well, these authors are so amazing so amazing. I mean, my, my clients, I, I've taken them on because I feel that they're just brilliant, amazing people. I thought I am just not worthy. <laughs> I am never going to be worthy to stand among them. I don't deserve, you know, I'm just not good enough. Um, and I could have quit. I could have. And there were days that there really were days that I felt like, and I thought this is hard and am I ever going to get there? But I, it meant too much to me to quit. I've been writing since I was 11. Um, it is the only thing I've always known I wanted to do, always, always, always. And any day that I don't write feels like a day wasted. I love agenting. I will never give it up. I absolutely love it. It, it Again, it, it feels the type A personality in me. I love selling. I love negotiating. I love all of this. I, I'm a go-getter. I love doing it. Um, but any day that I don't write feels like a day that I did nothing. I, that I, it feels like a day wasted. Uh, if I don't write, ask my husband. I'm a bear. I'm not somebody you want to be around. Um, I, I love writing and I can't not do it. I can't. Um, and I couldn't give it up. And so I didn't. And I kept going and I had a critique group and I have, uh, now I have a critique partner and I, Still, we'll get um, beta reads. This this newest novel, I, I actually um, hired a developmental editor because there was a point where I was like, this this isn't capturing people the way I want it to, and I just know that I'm too close to it to figure out what it needs. And I I I did hire a developmental editor, um, and she really, um, I just got back her feedback just recently and she really, I think nailed it. And I really um, am going into this very excited about what um, now I can bring to this. Um, and uh, I just um, think you just have to believe in yourself. But early, early on, it really was very, very hard. And even now I have days where, um, you know, my authors just especially uh, some of them would just blow me away and I would just read something. I'd go, I will never write like this. But the, the thing is, I don't have to. I am never going to be um, this person or that person. And you know what? I shouldn't be. There shouldn't be another this person or that person. I'm not going to name names, although um, I certainly could, but I don't want to single anybody out and leave anybody out either. Um, no, they are the themselves and they are brilliant. And, um, <laughs> what's that? I said, I think this is the perfect opportunity. Which is your favorite client? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I am not going to go down that. Uh, <laughs> um, but um, no, but my authors are singular and brilliant and wonderful voices. And, and they should be. And hopefully one day I will be a singular and wonderful voice. Um, but I will settle for touching um, the people that I touch, and um, and hopefully there will be those people. I you know I know I've already heard from some people that have loved my work, and hopefully there will be more of them. And that is what I can do. Um, that is what I can do. <laughs>